You are watching ABC 7 News at 5.30. Welcome back. Fourth of July celebrations happening across the Sun Coast tonight. While the weather looking nice right now in some areas, uh, some changes are on the way. That's right. Let's head over to Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan with a look at our first alert forecast. Bob, what can we expect? Good evening, everyone. We're looking at the beaches right now. They're okay, but things are about to change and are already starting to do so at Lakewood Ranch. Some heavy rainfall moving into there and lightning. So if you're outdoors, get indoors uh, as quickly as possible. This is near Warm Mineral Springs right now. This now generating lightning as we expected. It was getting close to that 30,000 foot level and it's uh, now generated six bolts just within the last five minutes. You can see that again uh, near Warm Mineral Springs west of Northport. Uh, some pretty heavy rainfall there. Uh, this uh, line of showers is moving off to the west right now, kind of getting held back a little bit by the West Coast Sea Breeze. You can see this line here not moving much and heavy rainfall is a big issue with these storms as well. Uh, the one now near Lakewood Ranch is really starting to expand. You can see that quite clearly. Even west of I-75, this storm has just exploded from Bradenton all the way down to University Park and now generating some lightning strikes. So again, people in this area should be seeking shelter away from from that storm also into Lakewood Ranch. There's a little bit of a lull there from UTC over to uh, looks like uh, Main Street, uh, but this is all going to kind of merge together and uh, start to intensify throughout the next hour or so. We're going to see these storms around. Not everyone will see them, but there will be quite a bit of areas getting some heavy showers and storms uh, throughout the next couple of hours now as they progress slowly off to the West Parish. You're okay currently. Duet, most of the rain south of you and Bethany has been getting hit hard by heavy rain and frequent lightning just within the last uh, 10 minutes or so. There's been quite a few lightning strikes there and we're getting more and more with this particular cell uh, there near Verna all the way over to Lakewood Ranch down near Port Charlotte and Punta Gorda. Look out more rain there as expected. And uh, again, we showed you this storm near Tarpon Point is starting to generate lightning. So localized uh, flooding, a, a big concern, especially where the rain is falling right now. It's not moving much. It's drifting to the west. And as far as the uh, strong to severe storms go, it looks like gusty winds a little close to severe, but I think mainly strong storms gusts up to maybe 40 miles an hour and there's always a potential for some small hail when these storms get up to about 45 to 50,000 feet. We saw that yesterday and we could see that again for some storms this evening. Well, much more on the fireworks forecast, uh, which I think most of the rain should be over by then coming up a little bit later. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. Well, some people on the Sun Coast could use a little less red as they celebrate the red, white and blue. Beachgoers are hoping red tide will not ruin their holiday. ABC 7's Jackie Kelly is live at Venice Beach right now. Jackie, how bad, bad is that red tide where you are? Scott, Jacqueline, there's not as many people here on the beach as you would expect for this holiday. Now, lifeguards and beachgoers tell me they think that the red tide is keeping people away. We were surprised when we rolled up here and there was a place to park because like around this time during the holiday, especially this place is packed. One local beachgoer says Venice Beach looked bare today. And even though they came out to celebrate the holiday, she says the beach isn't as enjoyable as normal. It's a little choky today, but more so of the smell of the dead fish, more so than anything. She, along with other locals, are concerned about this problem because a lot of people travel here for the beaches. It helps to bring a lot of the tourism and commerce into the area. It's very dependent on the tourists coming and enjoying the beach. As for this weekend, if you're thinking of heading to the beach, a spokesperson from Moat Marine Lab says unless you have a chronic condition, you should be fine. People with a chronic condition are generally advised to avoid the areas with active red tides, whereas the rest of us, it can be more of an annoyance and should uh, go away after we leave the affected area. Now beachgoers tell me they think the red tide this year is worse than in years past. Now if you are in Venice and you want to see a fireworks show, the South Jetty will be putting off fireworks at 9 o'clock tonight. Reporting live in Venice, Jackie Kelly, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Jackie, thank you. For more information on July 4th festivities happening tonight here on the Sun Coast, make sure to download our app. You can find out where to watch fireworks as well as traffic and parking updates. Just search for ABC7 or WWSB in the App Store. The federal government accuses several doctors featured in our License to Pill series of accepting kickbacks in return for prescribing a dangerous drug. According to a civil case recently unsealed, the providers fraudulently billed taxpayers nearly $70 million. Lee Zurich has this new development in licensed to pill. Patients clinging to life. You're lucky to be alive. Amen. Absolutely. Near-death experiences, the product of greed. What if my kids would have lost me because of him? 
trying to pad his pockets. The doctors who improperly prescribed a cancer drug called Subsys to Tamison Witherspoon and Dina Demarest have been charged, but other doctors Raycom Media has investigated over the past six months remain licensed. We found many of these doctors took money from the cancer drug's maker, Insys Therapeutics, to help promote Subsys. At the same time, many of those same doctors steadily increased the amount of Subsys they prescribed. The problem is that you have profit tiers that are working within this specific realm, i.e. doctors, pharmacies, and the pharmaceutical company who are taking advantage of the system. Randy Hood represents several patients suing some of those doctors. Our investigation found 85 percent of all doctors who received at least $50,000 from INSYS still have an active medical license. That's scary. A recently unsealed federal lawsuit details the depth of the alleged fraud. In February, we told you about Florida anesthesiologist Bart Gatz. He took $230,000 of INSYS money for consulting in meals. Since 2012, his subsys prescriptions cost Medicare $3.3 million. The complaint alleges in 2013, two INSYS executives took Gatz to an Arizona strip club. Days later, Gatz sent a text message to one executive writing, thank you for the best weekend in years. The U.S. government joined five former INSYS employees in accusing Gatz and 19 other medical professionals of accepting payments from the company and billing the government about $70 million. As of late June, 11 doctors named in the lawsuit, including Gatz, have not been charged with a crime. There's a wealth of data showing that doctors who receive payments from drug companies for promotional speaking are significantly more likely to be heavy users of those companies' products and services. Which is legal, as long as the payments don't entice doctors to write more prescriptions. Dr. Eric Campbell says about 85% of the doctors in the U.S. accept payments from drug companies. He says eliminating those payments may help reduce the near-death experiences patients like Tamison Witherspoon and Dina Demarest faced. These payments many times are simply nothing more than a sham for a kind of kickback that doctors receive. Um, and that's problematic because in that case, the doctor's financial interest may have superseded his or her primary concern, which is for the health and welfare of their patients. That's Lee Zurich reporting. Insys ended its speaker program for Subsys earlier this year. The company did not return calls for comment. Crews in Thailand are still desperately trying to find a way to get that young soccer team and their coach out of the cave in Thailand. With more rain in the forecast this week, the real test will be getting them out safely. One option is to wait for the rainy season to pass, but that could take weeks, if not months. Another is teaching the boys who don't know how to swim to scuba dive, a journey that could take even the most experienced divers six hours. The group has been examined by a doctor and are said to be alive and in surprisingly good health, but they are rail thin and medical experts warn. They're breaking down a lot of muscle, even though they're incredibly sed sedentary. So in medicine, we always want to get an assessment of their current situation, hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. One of the rescuers who described the search as harrowing says this cave dive is one of the hardest in the world and that maybe about 20 people are even capable of doing it. But now they're hoping these boys can at least learn. Now to Washington where President Trump is gearing up to announce his Supreme Court nominee, uh, possibly on Monday. The president has interviewed at least seven candidates so far to replace retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy. On his short list, two women, Judge Amy Coney Barrett of Indiana and Judge Joan Larson of Michigan. Judge Coney Barrett has drawn most of the attention. She's a former law professor at Notre Dame and a mother of seven children, including one with special needs and two adopted from Haiti. Many conservatives have rallied around her, as some Democrats have questioned how her Catholic faith would affect her decisions. When you read your speeches, um, the conclusion one draws is that the dogma lives loudly. President Trump has set a Monday deadline for his announcement. His last Supreme Court reveal was a primetime event, but the White House hasn't said yet how he'll announce his pick this time around.
Joey Jaws Chestnut once again living up to his name, winning his 11th title in the Nathan's Famous Hot Dog Eating Contest today. He downed 74 hot dogs in 10 minutes in the July 4th competition on New York's Coney Island Boardwalk. He broke the world record of 72 dogs, a record he himself set when he took home the mustard belt in last year's contest. In the women's competition, Miki Sudo won her fifth straight title with 37 hot dogs. And if I remember correctly, Miki's kind of a, a pretty small woman, so I'm not sure where she put all those 37 yeah. hot dogs. It's hard to watch, yeah. I tell you. Yeah. Still to come on your Suncoast News tonight, the best way to stay safe in hot temperatures and avoid heat-related illnesses. And some safety tips to keep in mind if you're setting off your own fireworks tonight. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was. I can tell you that you will not find a finer, more professional team of clinicians anywhere in the world. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through TrueStage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. TrueStage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-842-7189. Now, for a free, no obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1 800 842 7189 now. The following message is brought to you by Mesobook.com. People who have been diagnosed with mesothelioma have many questions. How did I get this disease? What are my treatment options? How will this affect my loved ones? You need answers, which is why we offer a free book written by medical professionals who have treated mesothelioma. Call toll-free at 1-800-777-1366 or go to mesobook.com. Thanks to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, what was once impossible is happening today for thousands of patients with blood cancer. I live. I live. I live. I live. I live. He lives. Because of the research done by the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society in the battle against blood cancer. If you had a chance to support the research that is saving lives, what would you do? When my youngest, Addie, was two and a half, she was diagnosed with leukemia. When we first heard that diagnosis, you feel extremely alone. Walking in that light the night light with 6,000 people carrying lights, white for survivors, red for supporters, gold in memory of those who have passed. It's the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's hope that every year there are fewer gold lanterns. Your lantern will make a difference. Start a team, join a team. Help us light the night. The 4th of July is a happy day filled with food, fun, and of course fireworks. But out of those joyful things, only one routinely sends people to the emergency room. Here's ABC's Kenneth Moten with some fireworks safety tips. Snap, crackle, pop. These could be the sounds of your favorite July 4th meal on the grill. But for millions of Americans, they're the sounds of backyard fireworks. Yes, they're beautiful but dangerous. The Consumer Product Safety Commission reports that many of the thousands of injuries from fireworks that fill emergency rooms every year involve the hands, face, and eyes. As often kids and teens suffer severe burns, cuts, and even scarring to the eyes that may be irreversible. If you're going to set off fireworks, do it safely. The CDC recommends adult supervision for all fireworks activities. Never allow kids to play with or light the fireworks, not even sparklers. Keep a safe distance between the display and your loved ones and never purchase fireworks with brown paper coverings. 
Those should be only sold to fireworks professionals. Better yet, look for a planned show put on by your local government. All of the sparkle, none of the risk. With this Medical Minute, I'm Kenneth Moten, ABC News. Hot, humid temperatures might have some running for the nearest beach, but they're also a perfect recipe for heat-related illness. According to the Cleveland Clinic, when it comes to the spectrum of heat illness, symptoms can vary from minor to life-threatening. Experts say young children and the elderly are most vulnerable to having difficulty with heat because their bodies are not able to respond to heat stress as well as others. Also, certain medications and medical conditions can impair a person's ability to respond to heat stress. The best way to stay safe in the heat is to practice preparation, prevention, and recognition. Now your ABC 7 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Well, they're here, Lakewood Ranch webcam. It was nice around uh, 2 o'clock, and then notice what happens. Those storms start to really gain some strength and push on in. And you'll notice right there, it's coming down, and there's some heavy thunderstorms around, too. This is uh, what we expected. It's happening now. Good news is I don't think it's going to stick around for the next three hours. Should be over by the time of fireworks, so don't be too, uh, uh, too worried about the fireworks display tonight. I think most of it will be over. There will still be some light rain around, I think. But look at this. This has just exploded within the last half hour now in Sarasota now, all the way downtown Sarasota. If you're on the beaches, get off, them, especially in Longbow Key and Lido, because this is advancing your direction. We have had some lightning bolts out ahead of the actual heavy rainfall. Continuous lightning now at Lakewood Ranch. The ones in blue are the positive strikes, which are more intense and can uh, obviously cause all sorts of problems. Now look at these uh, storm tops. 3D slice showing up past 40,000 feet. When you get that, you get the possibility of small hail. And uh, there's some hail signatures in here. There was one here a little bit ago, uh, right about there. You can see a little bit of uh, uh, purple, if you will, or magenta. That's where the possibility of small hail exists. So near Terra, uh, again, uh, some heavier storms now near the meadows, uh, stretching all the way from North Cattleman up into University. So Palm Air, uh, you're getting hit hard by rainfall. Right now, not in Bradenton, but Elwood Park near Onico, some uh, tremendous downpours. That's the problem right now. We're going to see these rains uh, come down pretty heavy. It's going to cause some localized street flooding, especially in Lakewood Ranch now, as that rain has been overhead now for at least the last uh, 15 minutes. And notice the stretch of it extends all the way out uh, east of Bethany. It is slowly working to the west. And as I mentioned, these storms right now, not much here, but I think this will fill in here in the next half hour or so uh, near Osprey and Venice Northport. This storm is expanding in your direction right now in East Venice and also uh, just there near Tarpon Point. Uh, the storm heights now are lessening somewhat to the east, so but still some rainfall there. Uh, the heavier storms obviously near Lakewood Ranch and just to the west uh, stretching over to Palm Air as well as University. These are some of the storm cloud tops uh, actually uh, queried some of these and uh, these are pretty big, not as big as yesterday's, but still uh, fairly significant, uh, typically around 30 to 40,000 foot storm is what we see during the summer months and yesterday's were up to 50 uh, uh, in Tampa. This is a little indication of what happens. The big storms move through, but notice this light rainfall lingering. That's what we have to look out for uh, for from some of the fireworks uh, later on tonight at 9 o'clock. Well, for the most part, it all blows off into the Gulf as that area of low pressure continues to work westward. Uh, we'll see uh, showers and storms possible again tomorrow afternoon and evening. Not as many. And I think a lot of it will be inland, depending upon how fast this low moves off to the west. And it looks as though we will see less of a chance on Friday. Well, the tropics are getting active now. The Hurricane Center put out a special update on this storm in particular. They bumped it up from a 30% chance to a 50% chance of developing. This one still is at a 40-60. Should not affect the United States. Just some high wave action there along the mid-Atlantic coast states. But this is what's interesting. 50-50 over the next uh, two days and the next five days. Once it gets close to the Leeward Islands, though, there's a good chance that it will uh, d dissipate or fade away a little bit, but then we'll have to watch as it gets into the Western Caribbean there. Winds a little strong there and uh, throughout the uh, southern portion of the Caribbean. Right now it's 78. Yes, storms have moved into the airport now. Uh, we're going to ruin some folks uh, barbecue this evening, but I think, as I said, we should be OK for the fireworks. Winds out of the southeast turn to the southwest at 5 to 10 knots tomorrow for boaters. It should be less than two feet out there. Less of a chance on Friday. Still a 40% chance on Thursday and for much of the weekend as well. High temperatures will warm in the low 90s. You're going to be outdoors. Make sure you drink plenty of water too because the heat index will be up to 100 each and every afternoon, especially Friday with a little rainfall around. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. Time now to check your first alert traffic. Right now, there is some traffic in Bradenton Beach along Gulf Drive as you head north towards the Cortez Bridge. Some backups heading east on Cortez as well. Scott?
Thanks, Jacqueline. If you're cooking out tonight on this Independence Day, it should probably cost you a little bit less this year. The American Farm Bureau Federation says a meal for 10 people comes in at less than $6 a person. That's down slightly less than 1% from last year. Farm Bureau members in 28 states checked retail prices at their local grocery stores. Their shopping list, hot dogs, cheeseburgers, buns, pork spare ribs, deli potat potato salad, baked beans, corn chips, lemonade, chocolate milk, condiments, and watermelon, if you can fit all that in, for a grand total of $55. Filling up this 4th of July can be a drain on your wallet. Holiday gas prices are the highest they've been in about four years. AAA says the national average, $2.86 a gallon for regular. That's 63 cents higher than a year ago. Analysts at Gas Buddy say that means drivers all together will pay about a billion dollars more for gas over the holiday travel period. SeaWorld pass holders may be getting a big payout as part of a class action lawsuit against the park. Thousands of customers who purchased passes between December of 2008 and 2014 could soon receive a refund as part of a nearly $12 million settlement. Plaintiffs accused SeaWorld of violating the Electronic Funds Transfer Act when it continued to charge customers for renewed annual passes even after fees had already been paid for. If the court approves that settlement agreement, eligible pass holders will receive a check in the mail sometime soon. Checks in the mail. Good thing. Entertainment News is next. Hello, I'm John Merce. Rugs as Art is celebrating yet another anniversary. And I would personally like to thank each and every one of you for the many years of continuous support. All during the month of July, we're having a grand celebration. We have flooded our showroom with yellow tag specials, meaning more discounts and more savings than ever before, plus free padding. So don't miss this anniversary celebration at Rugs as Art, Sarasota's bigger and better area rug superstore. Me, pick me, me, me. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Oh man, I love technology. Hey, yo, check out my new phone. Look at this right here. For years, the DeSoto Club has needed improvements. Join me in Boys and Girls Club of Manatee County as we raise money to build a brand new facility. It will be bigger and better, just like it was 40 years ago when I attended. Invest in kids, build great futures. Imagine a world filled with pillow fights, <laughs> playgrounds, and the search for the perfect climbing tree. Every kid deserves that world. But one in five kids in America struggle with hunger. At No Kid Hungry, we're committed to creating a world where every kid eats healthy food every day. We raise funds, we help families, and we lift up communities. There's a lot of fear in coming back to school. I'm a 40-year-old man that walked in there to get his high school diploma. It was very hard for me, but one of the teachers was uh, Miss Araceli. She gave me direction. Every single time I had a question, she'll put down whatever she's doing and she'll sit there with you until you get it. 50% of getting your high school diploma is walking through those doors. The other 50% is doing the work. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Okay, so what would you bring to my company? What do you need? I need problem-solving skills. I got through high school without a car, a phone, or a computer. No college degree, though. Not yet, but life's taught me a lot, and I'm ready for more. Well, you're not the typical kind of candidate that I hire. But you are exactly what I'm looking for. Your company could be missing out on the candidates it needs most. Learn how to find a great pool of untapped talent at gradsoflife.org. Each day, researchers make discoveries that bring us closer to the moment when all cancer patients can become survivors. Their progress is made possible with the help of clinical trials. Clinical trials are the brightest torch researchers have to light their way towards better treatments. And if you've been diagnosed with cancer, they may be your brightest ray of hope. Speak with your doctor and visit standuptocancer.org slash clinical trials to learn more. Together, we can stand up for all of us. The number of allegations against Kevin Spacey keep climbing. 
British police say they are now investigating six claims of sexual assault or assault by the Academy Award winning actor. That's three more than previously disclosed. Police in Britain don't name suspects until they are charged, but they say the alleged incident took place in London and another city in 2013. Meryl Streep is taking on another iconic role. According to the Los Angeles Times, she has signed up for the latest, signed on rather, for the latest film adaptation of Little Women. The Oscar winner is set to play the wealthy, hard to please Aunt March. Louisa May Alcott's 1868 novel follows the story of the four March sisters living in Massachusetts during the Civil War. Miles Teller is ready for the danger zone. The actor retweeted a report appearing to confirm that he will star opposite Tom Cruise in the Top Gun sequel. Teller is set to play the son of Nick Goose Bradshaw, who died in the original film. In the 1986 mega hit, Tom Cruise starred as Navy pilot Pete Maverick Mitchell. Anthony Edwards played Goose, his co-pilot and best friend. The plot for Top Gun Maverick has not been released yet, but reports say Teller's character will be a protege of Maverick. It's set for release next summer. John Stamos is back celebrating the 4th of July on TV tonight with a capital fourth. He's hosting and playing music with the Beach Boys, but the reason he's returning is so that he can help celebrate military veterans all across the world. I see th those men and women and, and their families. That's what really I go, oh boy, especially having a son. Well, what a sacrifice they've made for us. And, you know, that's what really gets me moving, you know, at this show. Well, the Temptations will also take the stage on a Capitol Fourth tonight. That is at 8 o'clock on PBS. Music and fireworks. Yep. Be a fun night. <laughs> we'll be right back. Our nurse Jennifer, all we did is pick up the phone if I was having a bad day, and the next thing we know, she's at the, she was here at the door. I can't believe that I would have received any greater care anywhere. From that moment on, everything changed dramatically, and I don't know what we would have done without that. Hi, I'm Chef Bob. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday morning on ABC7, where we'll be serving up the most awesome dishes. Then stop by your neighborhood Publix, pick up the recipe card, and all the ingredients. If you've been injured in an accident that wasn't your fault, and you're struggling to pay your bills while your case is dragging on, that's where Oasis Financial comes in. Only Oasis has Oasis Express Cash that can get you from $500 to $25,000 in as little as 24 hours, faster than anyone else. There's no risk and no out-of-pocket cost. It was so simple, I made one phone call. Oasis was able to give me the money within 24 hours. To pay for my electric bill, my rent, and my groceries for my children. And even if you end up losing your case, Oasis lets you keep the money. So there's absolutely no risk to you. You don't have to worry about repaying Oasis. If I had lost my case, then I wouldn't be responsible for paying the money back. And that was a blessing. Oasis, they killed him, man. They held me out. They, they gave me my life back. See how much money you can get before your case settles. Call Oasis Financial because life moves faster than your case. 1-800-874-8185. 1-800-874-8185. Patriotism at a tough time. Politicians confronted in public and our country's leader encouraging Americans to target the media. Why our country is so divided. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Download the all-new ABC 7 First Alert weather app now.